what's up by shield master here and welcome to the final video ever in mother warfare 2019 this time for real i'm not saying goodbye hell and then coming back but other than that i'm here to talk about the red shield in mother warfare 2 i i, I don't really like calling it mother warfare 2 because it's not that game we all know it's never gonna be as good as that game so let's go with mother warfare 22 there you go i think that's a good way to call it but i've seen the shield and today here i'm talking you know i want to talk about how good it will be if it will be good like every year with every shield that is coming out and, and i want to share my opinion my thoughts that if it's gonna be a you know you know good experience or a bad experience so without further ado let's start with what i think it could be good or it's gonna be good that we test them because we played a campaign right and in some mission you could pick up the shield we try some stuff not everything because of course it's a campaign it's very limited and it's still buggy and some features are still missing you know so we'll see anyways so i want to talk about first thing is the design i like the you know the shield design and the way they change it you know since mother war for 2019 because i don't know it feels more uh, professional as my friend techie mister said you know and i agree with him like the shield looks so much better and you know you feel protected as much as you know i've seen from from the enemy ai but uh yeah i like the design the, i noticed that the glass you know it doesn't have them how you how you call it you know the external part of the glass is really clean you don't have black part you know it, it's open uh, so talking about that, so visibility, another plus since Modern Warfare 2019 is like 10 times better. Like the, 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 as you can see right in the gameplay I'm showing in the background, when, when you see through the glass of the shield, everything is like a bit blurry. Like it's like you're underwater the way you see the world. And it makes it really hard to spot people at distance and stuff. But, in that campaign, I've seen the shield, and when you pick it up, the difference is like almost unnoticeable. Like there's always be a little blur, even the original, but it's almost non-existent, you know. And and that's how it is in Mother Warfare 2. The visibility is ten times better. Like you can clearly see everything. Like I've I've shown a come you know a side to side comparison with without shield and with the shield, and it's almost unnoticeable. Like I can never really see anything that it makes it oh i can't see this and clearly it's really easy to see so visibility a big plus and i like that it's gonna be easier to spot people and you know look for the animation we'll talk about that soon but uh, let's talk about something else and this is the sprinting you know i'm an advocate for the sprinting and base sprint will cover you a bit and you know like the original game and tech sprint will fully expose you so you get exposed for faster sprint but Apparently they still haven't learned their lesson. Like, I don't understand why they changed it from the base form. Pro probably because they don't want the sweats to cry about the show. What a, what a surprise, huh? But uh, it really pisses me off how when you base sprint, not tactical sprint, you're fully exposed. Like I should be partially covered. They had the perfect formula back in the day with Mother Warfare 2, 3 Ghosts, Advanced Warfare and so on, right? And I don't understand why they make it so punishing to move with the shield. That you're sacrificing an entire primary weapon to have defense. So it should be a partially call. I mean, of course, tax sprint exposes you because you're sacrificing, you know, uh, the def defense for speed. And so you have to, you know, choose carefully when to do it, right? Uh, but you know, base sprint. Why would anyone expose themselves when they sprint with the shield, right? So uh, the only plus is that the shield movement speed is actually faster. So we act, it's probably around the AR level, like AR, slow side AR, but it, it, it's definitely faster than LMG and Mother Warfare 20. That it's really fast. It's not SMG level, of course, because that would be crazy, but damn, it's faster. I, I, I hope they don't change anything because in the campaign, the movement speed is much faster and I love it. It feels like World War II movement speed. Now that I think about it, in World War II, the movement speed with the shield was really good. It was really fast. So that's a really big plus in my opinion. And 
you know at least you can be more aggressive i don't know how you can be super aggressive since you're exposed but you're faster so it makes it a bit less you know uh, boring to move around the map if you if that's the way i can explain you know, you're faster you feel faster and this can actually give you a confidence boost i know it's strange of speed but trust me when when you pick up an smg and you're super fast like it pumps you up like you want to kill everybody super quickly so there's also that psychological effect of having being faster with the shield so now let's talk about something that we call quick draw and what is the like i've seen people what the hell is the quick draw with the shield it's, it's not something that you have with the shield so if you have noticed in modern warfare 2 beta there was a pistol in the default class where basically since people have access to the creator class all buggy of course of the campaign and uh, we didn't know that the um, quick draw uh, we, uh, we call it it's a grip that you can equip on pistols and basically with this grip you can swap ultra fast to the pistol by putting your gun to the side correct and as far as we know it should work with the shield as well because otherwise you will be wasting an attachment if you have the shield and that's really stupid in my opinion but as i said um the campaign is really buggy a lot of features are missing even other that don't really mean anything with the shield and stuff like that. but you know so the campaign is buggy. we have to wait for day one patch but what i'm talking about is that in the campaign the quick draw was not available with the shield and we hope and we think it's a bug but i'm not holding my breath because i've been disappointed so many times and at this point i'm so scarred by the bad shield that it's really hard for me to trust it. I'm always scared of they messed it up and something bad is going on. So if it doesn't work, don't be surprised, but it should work. Let's say that it should work. Um, so yeah, quick draw with the shoot. If it works, it's gonna be really good. Like it, it can offer you a really good way to approach and be aggressive with the shield. So even if you're exposed, at least you can be aggressive that way. So that's a plus if it works of course otherwise it's a bummer because what's even the point right having that good attachment that you can't use it with the shield you know i mean it's only for pistols anyway right why i mean i'm not saying you should be fully covered while shooting like the ai but you know that offers you a better way to be aggressive with the shield so i hope it works with the shield at launch now the, what about swap times i know we don't have fast stands in the campaign and you know the swap times are what they are but we have noticed at least my friend noticed i couldn't can't really say because i haven't really played but he played in the firm you know with his own hands and he's saying that to sw swap into the shield feels faster okay swap into the shield feels faster so even without fast stand the swap times aren't that bad i mean they're not of course super fast but they're not that bad right like more worth than 20 so swapping to the shield feels faster okay that's all there is to it so this means that with fast stand it should be even faster i hope so now uh we of course we talk we play the beta and what about the counters and they're pretty much the same you know termite is probably still gonna be busted uh semtex and everything but what's the difference that there everything is a bit slower than modern warfare 2019 like not by much but it's slower okay and that's a plus termite although still travels really fast as um it drops f like more often like it, you know in modern warfare 2019 it's like this gray bullets that flies for miles while in the beta we have noticed that although it goes to the same speed as 2019 he has uh, it drops qu more fast like it doesn't travel as further because it has higher drop so yeah at least there is that and so you might say well, what about animation you know you said that the animation are not in sync in model of 2019 everything is bug and as far we have tests they look to be they look to be in sync but we need further testing to confirm that but for now it looks to be in sync just because you think about it, they have all this focus in the third person mode so they want to make sure that third person animation are done correctly and that's a plus for us even if it's not a direct buff to the shield it like indirectly buff the shield gameplay because if the third person animation are done correctly it's easier to spot the equipment and attempt to dodge it 
uh, although uh, you know we can talk about how dodgeable termite and stuff is you know but semtex are, are slower so that's that's confirmed at least you know but now talking about counters why you're so confident about the equipment because we have noticed that the trophy system is like so much faster okay i can tell you that the base trophy in modern warfare 2022 is uh, fa as fast as the amp trophy in modern warfare 2019 and that's like and what's f that have to do with termite and semtex that means that fast and trophy as far as we know you can as soon as you get stuck you can deploy it and survive the stock because the trophy is going to destroy the equipment you get you got stuck with and so you should survive and so if our theory is correct you can survive semtex stack and even termite is everything goes correctly because termite also deals less damage as far as we know because basically in Modern Warfare 2019 when you get stuck with a shield with a termite it takes four ticks to kill you while well, without shield it takes three ticks so we know that the shield has some kind of dampening down of the damage however in Modern Warfare 2022 you, you die with four ticks without the shield right so this means that if it's correct with the shield you should die in five ticks and that gives you enough time to deploy the trophy and survive we hope so of course semtex is i think it's really easy to to survive with the tro as fast trophy as soon as you get stuck of course it depends on the distance because semtex has a timer you know so if they stack you and the and the frame gets stuck it blows up you can't survive of course but if you get stuck mid-range you should be able to survive confidently now there is also the drill charge it's a new counter because we know it stacks to people but that thing takes ages to kill you right so you have all the time in the world to to put down the trophy and survive hope it works of course so yeah the trophy could be the key for the shield in the next game because you know being able to deploy it that fast could really really mean everything from you know making a good game you know being able to survive stocks could be the key to a better game you know especially when the counters are so busted okay and you know but yeah the trophy uh, looks great and it's something that really really hopeful you know it's gonna make be a game changer with the shield now talking about the shield itself and not other stuff related to the shield what about the bash and that guys they actually buff the bash speed like the bash speed in mother over for 2022 is really fast it's i think we think it's one bash per second and while in mother warfare 2019 it was 1400 milliseconds per bash so that's a 40 percent boost to the bash speed and that's a lot guys you have no idea how much faster than like you, you know them if for some of you that have been following for a long time you know that guy who i made about the shield with the tips and there was the fast bash tricks right well the base bash in modern over 22 is as fast if not faster than that trick and that tells you everything you have to know so the ba the fat the bass is blah, sorry the bash is much faster and that's a big plus now we don't know about the lock and the range because that cannot be tested against the idea the, the shield and melee weapon behave really weirdly with the ai so we cannot say if there is a longer bash range and if there is the lock in the first place it should be some kind of lock as, as far as we know we try to melee with weapon but in the in the beta so there is definitely some kind of lock uh, but yeah if everything about the bash is the same as 2019 except it is faster it could be really good guys and i'm positive that the bash is faster like we, we tested that right? it's much faster so that's a plus you know props were there do and i applaud infinity ward for actually buffing the shield there you know this they are actually buffing the shield they're going to make it they're making it better and that's a good thing now um the stun you know the stun effect you might not not the stun grenade be careful i'm not talking about the, the stun effect okay um i'm talking about um sorry i'm not talking about the stun grenade. i'm talking about the stun effect of the shield we don't know if it's the game but we have noticed that there is an option in the game that says when you get hit by an explosion or melee okay 
you're, you cannot aim. Like if you're aiming and you get hit by those things, you stop aiming. And that's awfully familiar to the day's effect that there was in the older game that prevents people from using equipment, okay? So we don't know if that's the case, but if, there, if it is, people cannot stack you in the face when you're bashing them. We don't know, it's not confirmed, so don't raise your hopes up, but it could be there, okay? It could be there. We can't really test in the beta because we need, uh, we, do it, we need to do it with you know, people that stand still and do stuff for us, and that's not possible. Oh, sorry, in the beta. So yeah, the stun days effect, how you wanna call it, could be with the shield, and we'll see at launch, I suppose, and, but because that's one of the major flaw with the shield. It's one of the war I could, if there's one thing I could change, that's that thing, because being stuck in the face is the most unfair and flawed thing there is in the game. That it sh it can, should not be happening, because imagine being punished for hitting somebody with a melee weapon, right? Doesn't make any sense at all, okay? Uh, now, the slide, then you say, what's the point with the slide? With this? What, what has the slide do with this shield? Well, the slide nerf is actually a help for the shield because those sweaty nerds can never now slide cancel every two seconds trying to slide past the shield to try and kill you. With, because when people slide, their hitbox are really weird, right? And you can't hit them with the bash. Uh, that makes it much easier to kill people, so I'm actually in for the slide nerf, I don't want this spam of slide cancel. Also, that thing breaks controller, by the way, I have stick drift in a lot on my, one of my controllers because I've did that over and over, over and over, so yeah, you know. Now, the way you use equipment is the same, you still throw stuff behind the shield if it's a tactical. Uh, if it's a lethal, you know, you get exposed. We don't know about throwing knife because in the beta we couldn't really use throwing knife, but it's still stupid that you get exposed while using a throwing knife with the shield. Like, why the shield go all the way to your back? And don't say, oh, because it's right handed. Because in World War II, the shield was right handed. In Advanced Warfare, the shield was right handed, you know? And when you threw the knife with the right hand, mind you, you still weren't fully exposed. The guy just, from, from the third person view, the guy just grabbed the shoe with the left hand real quick and put it to the side and throw the knife. That's all it does. And so the fact that you get exposed, in my opinion, it's stupid. You should be partially cut. Like Modern Warfare 2, once again, the original, uh, you know, you weren't fully exposed while throwing the knife. In Ghost, you weren't fully exposed while throwing the knife. You know, all this stuff. I don't know why they take the step backwards with it. I really don't understand. Now, the gas, unfortunately, it's not the same. They nerfed the gas grenade. So now instead of blooding an impact, it has a timer. It behaves like a stun grenade. The moment you throw it, there is a set time and then it blows up. And also the cough duration is less, and that's a big L in my opinion, because the gas was such a unique piece of equipment, and the fact that they nerfed it, it's really stupid. They should revert it back to 2019, um, the way it behaved, because it's really stupid in my opinion. I don't know if they'll change it, because it's not in the top priority list of things to change, and that's sad. But, you know, unfortunately, with pros comes cons with a new game every time. Now, secondary, they look nice, especially with the quick draw mechanic. But aside from that, they look better, especially because we have a full auto pistol at launch. We don't need to wait for the side cop to come out again, like 2019. And I like that because, you know, let's be honest, full autos are easier to use than, you know, single fire weapons, you know, they're easier to aim, especially for me on controller, because for me, I need to spam the, the index finger while staying on target. It's, I'm not saying it's hard, okay, but it's definitely a bit more uh, uh, frustrating to do if I'm not really good with the trigger finger. And so I like having that full auto option. That's what I'm saying. Now, a uh, big comfort the shield is definitely the perk system because uh, Come on, let's be honest, the perk system is stupid. Like, why they have to change something that is not broken? Like, the perk system has been working for ages, the way it should be. And they, you know, let's just change it. I don't even understand why they don't even try the ghost system. That's the most unique and best 
perk system they ever did and just because people hate it on Ghost, it doesn't mean they hated every single aspect of it. To be honest, personally, I love Ghost, but that's not what we're talking about today. But, you know, one good thing that everybody pretty much loved about that game was the perk system. You know, how, how every perk had their cost. And, you know, and I don't understand why they changed it. They, they burn perks in the game. What about specialists? Because there should be, most likely, there won't be specialists in the game. And that's sad. That is another step backwards they're taking. Because they had specialists in every single game Infinity World I'm talking about since Modern Warfare 3. I mean, there are ways to implement specialists even with this new perk system. For example, my idea is that, let's say, uh, your first reward is restock. Okay, restock, we know it's a bonus perk. However, even if you get those two kills, okay, and you get the restock, Restock is not active until you actually get your base uh, bonus perk. So, for example, my bon base bonus perk is fast end. Until you get fast end, all bonus perks are not usable. Okay, so even if I get those two kills, it's not active. Okay, and the same thing applies to ultimate perks. So even if I get put ghost as two kills. It's not active until I get the actual ghost, you know, sorry, the actual ultimate perk I have equipped by for default. And all of this applies for, of course, every bonus perk and the ultimate perk. And of course, it doesn't apply to base perk. So if, I, for example, I put as my first reward Battle Hardener, that unfortunately it's a base perk, even though it shouldn't be, because now people are going to just run EOD and Battle Hardener over and over with no variety. But if I put that as my first reward, of course it's gonna be active as soon as I get it, no matter what, even if I get 0.01 second of the match, because the base perks are always active. So that's my idea on how they should make specialists. You know, of course, then the specialist bonus, if you get it at the beginning of the game and you still don't have your bonus perk active, and of course, ultimate by consequence, it's your bon specialist bonus only has active all the base perks but not the bonus but if you have your specialist on and you get your bonus perk then all bonus perks become active alongside with your base bonus perk and so on with the ultimate perk so that's how it should work and i think that's a great way to make it work with the new perk system if they really don't want to change it you know and i like that i like that <sighs> you know um, as i was talking i realized something that you know, those are the expectation that we put to the shield and unfortunately not always the expectation are met because I don't really want to make the same mistake I made years ago, even in 2019 and with Vanguard. With 2019 I was so hopeful, oh man, the game is going to be great for the shield and although it wasn't horrible to the point of being unusable, it wasn't the best either and, you know, and that was something and I thought, okay, you know, let's try again. With Vanguard, Vanguard was the, you know, the end for my confidence I had and any hope I had on the devs. Because you remember, if you go back, I said, oh man, the show is gonna be much better. Even if it's everything is the same, it's better because there is this, there is that. And look how that ended up. So after all those experience, guys, I'm really, really, really careful with my hopes being high because I've been so car for life the, the, the only way they can they have to gain their trust back and I, I suppose that if they're buffing the shield it's a step forward but we'll see at lunch guys I'm not being happy I'm not saying happy I'm not being super excited because I know how they can easily screw it screw this up and so I'm telling you, you know, some stuff looks objectively better. We tested it this time around. It's not just, oh, it's going to be better. Even if we need to say no, we test the stuff. And um, yeah, that's all I have to say. But yeah, these are the expectations. No, every year I expect the shield to be like your old days, but we all know that's not going to happen. They have this new trash formula with the shield and I don't know what's what they need to understand that the old days formula were better. Like I tried three years of feedback to Infinity Ward, and although they buffed like visibility, the bash range, and you know we have the quick draw and you know, stuff like that, or you're faster with the movement speed. They did 
actually acknowledge some of the feedback I gave to the shield, don't, don't get me wrong. But I don't know, it feels like they are always scared of making the shield good. I don't know why they are scared, because we all know, like back in the day, was the shield overpowered? Let's be honest, how many shield nukes did you see back in the day? Like, if it was so strong, why nobody uses it? Why are they so scared to make the shield more viable as an option? You know, for those people that enjoy it and actually take skills, you know, and uh, it doesn't take skill, you know, for your little sweats watching this video. Shut the hell up, right? If it doesn't take skill like shotguns, why nobody uses it? Why nobody, you know, gets nukes with it if they're so easy to use, right? So, yeah, my expectations are always, you know, oh, this is gonna be like, the original days but we all know it the sad reality is it will never ever be like the old days i mean there's always that 0.1 percent they could you know make it like back in the days you know there's always that sense now, nothing is all it's ever zero percent but you know after all we have been through i'm just scared you know i really am scared of how the show is gonna be you know i'm always on the on the defense at this point about the shield so yeah uh, i think i said everything pretty much guys so i mean am i gonna buy the game yes i am i'll be honest with you but uh, don't expect you know to be the greatest shield ever it could be could be as i said don't take it 100% i don't want to fool anybody or you know put false hope on anyone uh, about the shield being good it could be better than 2019 okay that's all i have to say uh, based on the informations we have because we don't know everything as i said because what we could test in a campaign was limited same with the beta but it could be better okay so yeah i'm gonna buy the game because you know i'm tired of modern warfare 2019 vanguard all that trash i need something new guys i just can't take it and i hope my content i am gonna put out as much content as I can, guides, video, gameplay, and recently I also discovered why my YouTube channel was a bit stagnant, you know, with subscriber and views, and now I'm, you know, being, I'm try-harding more with YouTube, you know, I'm looking at the analytics and all that stuff and the stats, so I'm gonna try and be better with YouTube as well. So guys, this is all my opinions about the Riot Shield in Modern Warfare 2022. I hope you enjoyed the video and take care, guys. Have a good one. See ya. The strong pick of the and the weak of the play. And no one is fucking shoot, Gamer. Fucking shoot, Gamer. Lose a pussy. So I'm loser. Yeah, the loser won third and three. What about you? 2018, man, such a mainstream player.